Okay, I'm gonna make this uh, video here of uh, our ride up at uh, Snowshoe Rails to Trails and uh, on the Bloody Skillet Connector. We're gonna start out here, we get to ride the Township Roads uh, down to the connector. Uh, we're very fortunate, we have good friends that live right on the trail that we're riding with today. We met up with them and uh, we even had the uh, opportunity to they left us parked at their house, which is really nice of them. So uh, I'm going to make this, and it's going to be a little longer video than I usually post, but uh, I'm going to try not to make it too boring. Uh, I want to make everybody aware of this uh, bloody skillet connector up at Snowshoe Rails to Trails and how neat it is to, to ride this trail up here. Okay, we're coming up here on the Cato Creek crossing. I uh, used to have an option either go through the creek or go across the bridge, but uh, it looks like they took that option away. They got it uh, taken care of. Now you got to go across the bridge, which is fine. That's that's really a good idea, because that way if the water's high and somebody doesn't ride in there and swamp. But uh, this is uh, part of the connector, and uh, we're on we just crossed the creek at Cato. Uh, there's some really neat switchbacks here on uh, Bloody Skillet. And this is one of the first ones you get into here, uh, going down there. Uh, their uh, trail's greatly improved since I first started riding up there. They really maintain this very well. And uh, I do appreciate what DCNR does keeping up this trail system here because uh, it was a little hairy when, you, when I first started riding up here. Okay, here we're coming up on uh, some dirt bikes. The first set of dirt bikes I come across here, they were very courteous. They stopped and uh, no problem till we got by. The second set of dirt bikes that we're gonna come across here, and as you see here, they come, the second set. And uh, they're not as courteous. They just fly by, threw stones up on us and everything. I can see why people get upset with them, but you know, that's just the way some people are. But uh, 
you know, it could have been worse. They could have ran into us. Okay, now we're coming up here on a really nice bridge that DCNR built down here in this connector for you to, for us to cross. And uh, they did a beautiful job on it. Got sides on it. It's safe. It's plenty wide uh, and everything. So uh, hats off to DCNR and the people that came up with this idea to build this connector. Now, one thing I want to caution everybody. When you get across this bridge, if you haven't ridden here before, not too long after you cross this bridge, you make a hard right to go up over to into bloody skillet if you're not familiar with this connector and it's your first time you're maybe not using the ride command or whatever just trying to go by maps or following the signs you can miss that connector there is no uh arrow to point to where to turn up over there or anything so i just caution anybody if not i mean that you think to go straight is great because the trail is perfect and everything else but you can miss it and it, it takes you a while till you realize that you missed a trail. And uh, it's happened to me. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out to everybody if they are riding the Bloody Skillet Connector Trail. When they come across that first bridge, just start looking for a hard right. And that is where the trail goes. You wouldn't think so the way it laid out, but that's the way it is. So just a word to the wise. Okay, here we are, we're going up some uh, more switchbacks here, going up in there, and it's really neat because I was riding last, uh, Marlon and Carol were leading, my wife was second, and I could film them going up above the switchbacks there, that was really neat, I always like that effect. But uh, it's really, I, I just can't stress it enough how, what a neat ride it is up in there to, the, to get to the bloody skillet. Um, it's very enjoyable and uh, fun to do. Uh, I know this video is getting really long. <laughs> I, I usually don't make them this long, but I want to give everybody a view of what it's like to ride this bloody skillet connector. And uh, I especially want to get that information out about you can miss that turn there when you come off the bridge if you've never been on it before. It's, it's really easy to miss. Uh, but uh, other than that, it's a great ride and everything. And uh, it's, you know, a little challenging, but hey, fun.
We're up here at the entrance to Bloody Skillet today, and uh, we're with Marlon and Carol again, and Carol got her bubble machine out, making bubbles. So. We just came up the very steep, very twisty, rocky switchbacks at Bloody Skillet, and that's about as intense as I want to get. Okay, we're going to start our descent down out of Bloody Skillet here, down the connector to go back. Uh, it's, you know, it's a, it's a fun time. And, uh, like I said, it's just a little bit of intense, but I wanted to make this video. It's longer than I usually make, but I wanted to point out a couple things, especially about that, uh, turn there when you come off that bridge, cause it is so easy to miss. Uh, it's not hard, but, uh, if you made it this far, I want to thank everybody for watching and just remember if it's, uh, on YouTube, you can always fast forward and uh, not watch the parts you get bored with but uh, I think there's some neat footage on here for everybody to enjoy so uh, for now thanks for watching appreciate it old guy out and uh, we'll see you again on another video